Hi, welcome to the Fix It Fox channel. My name is Rob Fox. Today we're going to be doing a simple job. Simply taking out an old disposal, uh, garbage disposal, and putting in a new garbage disposal. Um, here at an apartment complex, a tenant complained that the garbage disposal stopped working. So instead of trying to troubleshoot these things, because invariably they just go dead, uh, we're just going to remove the old one and put in a new one. So if you're here as a DIYer, uh, get ready to take some good notes. I'll give you some tips on how to uh, make it happen smoothly and do it correctly. Or if you're here just to sit back and watch somebody accomplish a task, uh, you're in the right place. So uh, let's grab our tools and get to work. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take this off. Take the trap off. I have the trusty bucket here to catch any of the Funky stuff. There we go. Okay, in this case, looks like we're not going to have to remove the trap itself, which is good because it's usually filled with nasty water. And all you do after that is unplug it and then reach up here where the collar is and give it a twist. There you go. When you're replacing a garbage disposal versus putting a new one in, um, you can remove this collar. Uh, this collar is what the bot or the top of the garbage disposal connects to, and the collar is supposed to be set inside the sink. But because there's already a garbage disposal here, uh, there's already a collar that's inside the sink drain, and so we can just attach this. Uh, part on the new disposal to the collar uh, of the old disposal. They are, um, as far as I know, all made the same way. So they're interchangeable between the different brands. Now, typically you want to save the nut and the washer that's on the old disposal. And watch out, it's pretty grimy usually. So I usually use a paper towel or a napkin and uh, just save this. And use it on the next one because they do provide you with a new pipe, but they don't provide you with this locking collar and the uh, slip nut, uh, I think it's called, that um, creates the watertight seal. Okay, so the disposal comes with a few parts uh, that I usually like to use them new. Um, we could use some of the old ones, but it's just better to use the new ones. So there's this um, uh, metal gasket, there's a spring clip, there's a rubber gasket, and a couple of screws to attach it to the new disposal. So what we'll do first, I believe, is slide this metal gasket onto the rubber gasket. And then we will slide the spring clamp onto the drain pipe. Now there's a little lip on the end of the drain pipe and it fits inside of a little groove inside the rubber gasket. And so I'm gonna slip it in there until you feel it click into the into the groove. Then just pinch this spring clip so it holds that rubber gasket onto the drain pipe nice and tight. And then we will insert it into the disposal outlet and use our screws here to attach it tightly. Let's get them on there loosely and then we can tighten them up with the screw gun. Right 
nice and watertight and sealed to the unit. Now this here, some of you may have a garbage disposal that's attached to a dishwasher. This outlet here it allows the dishwasher to drain water into the disposal and then come out uh, through this drain pipe and into the main drain of the kitchen uh, sink. But uh, we don't have a dishwasher here and so we don't have to worry about this. But uh, do be careful because um, this will have either a cap inside of it or a tab and if you have a dishwasher you want to break that tab out or remove the cap um, but if you do remove the cap or break the tab and you don't have a dishwasher uh, then there's a chance that water when filled up from the sink uh, will come out of this pipe instead of coming out of the drain pipe all right so this next part can be kind of tricky um, it's actually mounting the disposal to the collar. Um, you'll see here on this uh, lower uh, configuration there's three tabs one here, one here, and one here. And they are supposed to connect to and slide up these ramps here. So there's one ramp here, there's another ramp here, another ramp here. And they they kind of start at low and they go high. And so we need to connect the um, disposal, connect those tabs right here and here and here, and then rotate it counterclockwise to slide them up the ramps and make a tight seal. mounting the disposal to that upper collar, uh, don't worry about where the drain line might end up as you're rotating the disposal onto that collar because once the disposal is locked onto that collar, you can rotate the disposal itself to be in the position you need it to be to connect with the drain line. Okay, there's one last step uh, with these American Standard disposals that we need to take care of, and that's this silver guard that comes in the box. Um, what it is, is a magnetic collar that you put around the top of the uh, disposal, and I don't know, you probably can't tell this on camera, but it's um, magnetized. And you put it around the top of the collar, and if anything metal does fall through the sink, uh, it'll stick near the top of the uh, uh, drain and won't actually fall into the disposal. So it's kind of a valuable tool. Um, not all that necessary, but uh, because it comes with it, we'll put it on. I don't know how easily you're going to be able to see this because I got to stick it way up high on the top of the collar, um, but we'll try and get it on film. hardest part is trying to get this button to snap together. Perfect. This particular model, which is an American standard, I think it's purchased at Costco, um, comes with a cord already attached to it. So a cord is already wired to the um, unit itself. So it's just as simple as taking off this little safety tab and plugging it in. 
and you're good to go. There are other brands that uh, people often use, Badger is one of them, that is not sold with an uh, electrical cord attached. And so you have to buy the electrical cord yourself. Uh, it's usually sold in the same section uh, at the hardware stores where you can purchase the garbage disposals, but you have to purchase that cord itself and you have to wire it into the bottom. So be careful if you're not familiar or not comfortable with wiring, be careful of which kind of brand you buy um, because uh, some of them make you do the wiring yourself and some of them uh, come with the, the wiring already installed. The ones that I can think of that have the wiring installed, which I recommend because they're easier to, uh, to install, are the Moen brands and this American Standard. Badger, as I mentioned, uh, it's a very popular brand sold by Home Depot, I believe, and, and Lowe's. They don't include the uh, electrical cord, so you're spending more money uh, to purchase the electrical cord and you're also having to uh, use more labor, obviously, um, to connect it and uh, you have to decide for yourself I guess whether or not you think that's worth it. The thing we have to do is check to see if the power works. Now, this particular model comes with a, a splash guard um, so you just remove it from its packaging and stick it down here into the top of the disposal. Stops, uh, debris from splashing out when the disposal is running. Okay, and the final step, of course, is to test to make sure it's uh, leak proof and uh, no water is going anywhere except down the drain line. So we just run it, turn the power on. So it's functioning as it should, and then we look down below. You'll want to check here, and here, and here, and possibly even here, everywhere that there was a connection made to see if there's any drips. And right now it looks as if it's drip free. But I like to do one more thing just to test. The thing I like to do is take the cap that also comes with the new unit and put it into the sink and then fill the sink up with water. Okay, and then what we want to do is take the drain out really quickly and turn the disposal on and we'll see how it functions under a load because as you've got all this water rushing down into the disposal it's going to add uh, increased pressure and if there's increased pr if there's a leak uh, the increased pressure will probably show it so let's quickly turn the power on remove the the uh, stopper and we'll see if there's any leaks down below <laughs> So there's the end of the project. Thanks for coming along with me. Um, if you like this kind of content, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. I try to put up videos every week. Uh, so there's gonna be some good content for you there on a regular basis. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, I do this for the likes, you know, let me just be honest with you. I do this for the likes, uh, trying to get the channel noticed, trying to get it popular out there. And the way that you can help me do that is by just pressing the like button. Uh, subscribing is helpful as well for the algorithm and uh, if you even want to leave a comment uh, I would greatly appreciate that and I'd love to reply to you so thanks again for coming along we'll see you on the next one